basic geometrical ideas. So in this chapter we are going to learn some basic geometrical shapes. So first one is points. Point is nothing that is a simple dot. Point is a dot only, right? So but what is the use of the point? What is the use of the point? The point determines the locations. It is usually denoted by the capital letter. It is usually denoted by the capital letter. Suppose we want to plot the locations in our Indian map or political map, anyone. Suppose we want to use or plot the locations, we can use by the dot. So the point determines the location. Point determines the location. It is usually denoted by a capital letter, right? Let's see what is line segment. What is line segment? So consider these two points. So point A and what is that point B? We know what is point, right? So we can consider this point A and B. How to join these two points? We can join these two points many ways. So we can join this point as like this. Right? So another method, how to join this point? We can join this point like this way also. So next one method is we can draw this point like as a straight line. So we can join these two points have many methods, but what is the difference? So the difference is the distance only the difference for this line. So this line is the shortest distance between these two points. The straight line is the shortest distance between two points. So a line segment corresponds to the shortest distance between the two points. It is denoted by A is line segment. So A is the line and the symbol represents the line segment. So what is line segment? A line segment represents the shortest distance between two points. So next one is line. So we know what is line segment. Line segment is the shortest distance between two points. Line segment is the shortest distance between two points. What is line? So we can choose this line segment A. So we know this is a line segment A. And so this line segment increases. This line segment extends extendable in both directions. So this line segment extended on both sides, which is called here both sides infinitely, which is called here line. A line segment extended to both sides infinitely is called what is that line. See, a line is obtained when a line segment extended on both sides infinitely. Extended on both sides infinitely, it is denoted by a b line. So line segment is denoted by what is that? A b. Line segment is denoted by this a b line segment. And line is represented by a b this line symbol, right? So it is denoted by a b line or sometimes a line, sometimes a single small letter like L. Sometimes this line is used by the small letter L. So this is called line L or we can say this line a b, right? So what is line? A line is obtained by a line segment extended on both sides infinitely. It is denoted by a b line or sometimes by a single small letter what is that L. Next what is ray? So we can start this point A. We know, you know this is a point. So this point starting from A and goes endlessly in one direction. So this is called a ray AB. So a ray is a portion of a line. A ray is a portion of a line. It starts one point. It starts one point and it goes endlessly in a direction. Which goes endlessly in any one direction. It can go right side or left side, any one direction. So we denote it by how to write this? A B and this symbol represented by ray. So this is called A B ray. What is that? A ray is a portion of your line. It is starts one point and goes endlessly in a direction. So this is called a ray A B. So we know what is point and what is point? Point is here. So point determines the location. What is line segment? Line segment is the shortest distance between two points. Line segment is the shortest distance between these two points. And the shortest distance, the line segment extends on both sides infinitely is called what is that line. And the ray is a portion which starts one point and goes endlessly in a direction. Right? So next one is what is that intersecting line? Next one, what is that intersecting line? So we can draw this line L1. We choose this line as L1 and another line is what is that? L2. So L1 is one line and L2 is the another line. So it can meet any one direction. So it can meet any one point. So this point is called P. That means the point of intersection. See, if two lines have one point common, if two lines have one common point, they are called intersecting lines. 
here two lines are the common point is only one. So two lines are only one common point. This is called what is the intersecting line. Here we can say L1 is the intersecting to L2. If two lines have one common point, they are called what is the intersecting line, right? What is parallel line? Parallel line means two lines in a plane are said to be parallel. Two lines in a plane are said to be parallel lines if they do not get intersect. So we write this two lines, what is that? First line is L1 and second line we can see what is that? L2. So first line is L1 and second line is L2. So it can be any point. So it can be any point of these two lines. So consider these rulers. We can choose the uh, top line is line L1 and this below bottom line is line L2. So this is the example for the parallel line. The ruler is the example for the parallel line. What is that? Two lines in a plane are said to be parallel lines. If they do not intersect, if they do not intersect, that means if they do not reach any one point. So we write L1 is parallel to L2. This symbol is represented by what is that? Parallel. L1 is we write L1 is parallel to L2. What is intersecting lines? Intersecting line means the two lines meeting at any one common point is called the intersecting lines. If two lines do not meet any one point is called what is that? Parallel line. Next, see this chart. Line segment, line, intersecting line, and what is parallel lines? So we already discussed what is line. Line, line is the shortest distance between two points. Line is the shortest distance between two points. So this is called line AB. How to write this? So we can write this one is the line segment. Line segment AB. That means the shortest distance between these two points is called the what is that line segment? And which is denoted by the line segment AB. Next one, what is line? So a line segment extends at both the sides. AB is the line segment which extends at both sides infinity is called what is that line. So line is represented by AB this line symbol. Right? So, so this is called AB line segment and second one is called what is that? AB is a line. What is next one? Intersecting line. Intersecting line means two lines meeting at a one point. If two lines meeting at the common point, this two line is called what is that? Intersecting line. Here, L1 is intersecting to what is that? L2. Line L, so line L is intersecting to line M. And what is B? The point B is the point of intersection. That means, which is the called point of intersection. Next one is parallel line. Parallel line means the two lines which do not meet any one point. So, two lines do not meet any one point. So, it is called parallel line. Here, line L1 is what is that? Parallel to line L2. Line L1 is parallel to L2, this is represented by the parallel line symbol. What is first one? Line segment is the shortest distance between two points. Line is a line segment extended by both directions endlessly. What is intersecting lines? Two lines intersect, that means two lines meet at any one point is called intersecting line, and this point P is called the point of intersection. What is parallel lines? Parallel line means these two lines we do not meet any one term, any one point. So which is called line L1 is parallel to line L2. So now let us go to see our exercise 4.1. First question, what is that? Use the figure to name. Use the figure. So use the given figure to name what is that? Five points. A line. We want to write five points. A line. Four ways. What are the five line segments? First one is what is the five points? So solution. Then you see. What are the points here? Point determines. You know what is that? Point is a simple dot, right? What are the points here? B. First point is B, what is the next one? C. Next one? D, E. B, C, D, E. And what is the other point? That is the center, that means the intersecting point O. Right? So B, C, D, E, O are five points. What is B question? B one, a line. We want to draw a line. What is the line is here? C. D, B is one line. So D, B is line. Any other line is here like OB. So OB is a line. What is next one? EB. So E to B. EB is also a line. That means EB is a line segment and which is extended at both sides endlessly. So EB is a line. What is next one? Next one line. DE. So, B 
is also a line, right? So this is what I said now. What is next one? Next is equals in four ways. You want to write what is that four ways? What is mean by ways? A way is a way that you know only starting points and goes endlessly in a direction. What is three? Four ways. What is the first way is there? So see this point O. So O to B is a way. O B is a way. What is the symbol for way? So this is we can write O B ways. So which is starting point only? It has no end points. So O B ways. What is the next one? O E. O E is also a way. What is the next one? O D. O D is also a way. What is this? E D. So E D. So this is also we have a ways. Four ways we need to find. So O B is a way. Suppose we can write O B. This line means O B is a O B line segment. We can apply this symbol to mean starting point is O and goes endlessly in direction B. So O B is a way. What is the next one? O E is also a way. Next O D. Which is also increasing to one direction. Next E D. So starting point is E and B increasing to one direction. So this is four ways. What is the next one? D. So we want to find five line segments. What are the line segments? We can use this point is also a line segment. What is that? Suppose O B is a we can write O B is a way, but it's not the point O to B is not what is that line segment. So this is called O B line segment. What is this line segment? E O. E O is also a line segment. What is this one? Distance between D E. D E is a line segment. Any other? C O. C O or O C O also same. C O is a line segment. Any other next one? D. D to O. Yes. D O. So it has five line segments. How to find the first one? Five lines. Five lines means we can write in five dots. Next one, what is that? Line. Uh, lines. We can write four. Uh, how many uh, lines we can draw? Means we can write the lines. So next, C one. Four lines. Lines means we have a starting points and one more point goes to endlessly. Lines. Last one, what is that? Five line segments. Five line segments is means line segment is the shortest distance between two lines. Line segment which has starting point and ending points. So we can write these five line segments uh, for our next day, right? Next, our second question. Name the line given in all possible ways. Name the line given in all possible ways, choosing only two letters at a time from the four given from the four given letters. What is the solution? Name the line given in all possible ways. So what are the lines given in the figures? So first we can write AB. So AB line. So we can write the line A to B. What is this one? A to C. AB, AC. Next we can write. First we can write A to B. Next A to C. Third one A to D. So we can write A to D. So this is line AB. What is this one? Next we can start from B. What is that? B A line. So line B A. B A. What is this one? B A. Next B to C. Next B to D. B C. And B to D. Next what is that? Next we can start from C. So we can write C to A, C to B, C to D. What is that? C A. Line C A. Line. C B. Line C B. So what is next condition? We can start from D. Start from D means we can move D A then D B then D C. What are the? D A is a line. Next. D B is a line. What is next one? D C is a line. So. Name the given, name the line given in all possible ways, choosing any two letters at a time from the four given ways. How many lines are possible here? We have twelve lines. We have twelve lines. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven up to twelve. We have twelve lines are possible for this four given letters for this line, right? So 
which line is contained point E. So the line A is contained point E. A E is a line. Line containing point E. We can write A E. So A E is a line which contains point E. Otherwise, we can write F E is also a line. Next, B is also a line which contains point E. We can choose any one line, right? So a line containing point E. What is B one? B one line passing through A. Passing through A means what is the term? Where is the point A? So a line which line is passing through A? So this line A E is passing through the A. This line A E is passing through the point A. So what is that? A E. So we can write this point B A A B also. A B is a line which is passing through the point A. So A B. You can write any one line, right? Next one is the line on which O lies. Where is the point O? So O, which line is lying? Which line is the point O lies in this line? What is that? C O or B O? You can think. What is that? We can write what is that? C O line. Line C O which contains line C O which contains the point. What is that? O. Next one. Two pairs of intersecting lines. Intersecting lines means two lines meeting at any one common point. What are the pair of two pairs? Pairs of intersecting lines. Which is one pair? So C O, C O and the line A E is intersecting. Line A E, A E. So a line A E and the line C O is an intersecting line. Line A E and C O. What is another pair? The next pair is line A E and E O. Line A E. So a line A E and E P. This is also an intersecting line. So how to find this? First one is a line containing point E. We can write a line which the the line containing point E that is A E. Next one line passing through A. Which line is passing through A? So A B is passing through A. Next A B A E. We can write any one line. A line passing through the point A. Next one C. A line on which O lies. A line. So this line C O it has lies at the point O. A line on which O lies. What is that? C O. Next pair of intersecting lines. Two pairs of intersecting lines. Here C O and A E is an intersecting line. Next A E and E P is also what is that? Intersecting lines. Next up a fourth question. How many lines can pass through one given point? How many lines can pass through one given point? Next one, two given points. So see, we can choose this point. How many lines can pass through the given points? So this is a line. So we can choose this method. So this is like that. So how many lines it can pass? So how many lines can pass through one given point? We can pass countless number of points. That means infinite number of points. What is that? Countless. One given point. How many lines can pass through one given point? What is that? Countless number of lines. What is the equation? Two given points. So you have two distinct points, A and B. So how many lines it can pass? It can pass only one lines. So it can pass only one lines in a given two points. So one point is given means it can pass countless number of points. Suppose we have given two given points, two distinct points means it can pass through only one lines. So only one line. What is first one? How many lines can pass through one given point? It can pass through countless number of lines. How many lines can pass through given points? What is that? Only one line. What is the second condition? 
line x y and line dy intersect at point m line x y and dy intersect at point m so first we draw a line x y x y and what is this line line x y and dy x y and dy intersect at the point what is that m that means m is the point of intersection Line x y and d q intersect at the point m. What is c position? Third one. Line l containing e and f. Line l containing e and f, but not d. So we can draw the line l. So this is a line l, which contains what is that? Line l containing point e and f. So this line l containing point e and f, but not d. But not d means this line. The point D is not lying on the line L. So first there are one line L containing point D and D, but not D. What is the fourth case? So line O B and O O Q meet at O. Line O B and O Q meet at the point O. So this is line O Q. Line O Q. What is next one line? O P. So line O P. Line O P and line O Q meet at O. Here is a line O P and next one is a line O Q. Which lines meet at the point? What is that? O. Get up to the first one is point P lies at A B. Point P lies at the line segment A B. Next line x y and p q intersect at the point m. This much as we can draw this line. Next is see one a line l containing the point e and f, but it is not containing the point d. D consists what is that line o q and the line o p meet at the point what is that o. So next is answer what is the So previously we can discuss what is point line segment line and what is ray intersecting lines. Then what is next one parallel line. Next we can go to see what is curve. So what is a curve? Any drawing straight or not straight? Any drawing straight or not straight done without lifting the pencils. So without lifting the pencils we can draw these pictures. We can draw this line without lifting the pencils. Any drawing straight or not straight done without lifting the pencils may call it a curve. In this sense, a line is also a curve. So, line is also we can draw without without lifting the pencils. So, I can draw this line without lifting the chalk pens. So, this is a curve. This two line is also a curve. So, in general, in generally, what is that? Line is not a curve, but in mathematically, a line segment is also a curve because of this condition. I need drawing. I need drawing done without lifting the pencils will be a curve. In this sense, a line is also a curve. What is next one? Simple curve. What is simple curve? So first one is a curve because we can draw this line without lifting the pencil. This is also a curve. We can draw this line without lifting the pencil. So what is the difference between these two? If simple curve, if a curve does not cross itself, if a curve does not cross itself, then it is called a simple curve. So first two figures. This curve which does not cross itself. We can this is a starting point and go which is an ending point which does not cross any lines. So this is called a simple curve. And second one, these two lines are intersecting in a point. That means these two lines are cross up in this point. So this is not a simple curve. What is a simple curve? If the curve does not cross itself, if the curve does not cross itself, then it is called a simple curve. Otherwise, it is not a simple curve. The next concept is what is polygon. What is polygon? A figure is a polygon if it is a simple closed figure. You know what is a simple curve, right? A figure is a polygon if it is a simple closed figure. Simple closed figure made of the entirety of line segment. A figure is a polygon if it is a simple closed figure made up of the entire line segment. So this is a simple closed figure. So first to it, as my square is a simple curve because this line. Do not intersect any points. So all the whole lines do not intersect any points. So this is a simple closed figure, and this uh, all the sides are closed. So this is a simple closed figure, square, triangle, and quadrilateral. Anyone says the figure is a polygon if it is a simple.
this is required as a ground area polygon. So this is a polygon or not? So this point that this is a polygon or not? As this is a quadrilateral because this quadrilateral is a simple closed figure made up of only what is the line segment. What is a polygon? A polygon is a simple closed figure entirely made of line segment. So this quadrilateral is a simple closed figure. It is a polygon. Draw any polygon and the sand is interior. We want to sand this interior. You can draw any other polygon on the sides at the interior points, right? So first one, and draw a rough diagram to illustrate the following. You can draw any open curve. Second one, you can draw the closed curve. So any sides, you can draw the closed curve. Third one, draw any polygon. You can draw any polygon on the sides. What is the interior?